Um, so I was seeing this guy for a couple weeks. We met on a dating app. We met on Bumble. We matched. We talked for a little bit. Turned out we had a lot of mutual friends in common. So that was really cool. But he seemed like a really great guy. We went on a great first date. Super wholesome. He didn't over-sexualize things like most guys do. Um, he just seemed really great. Like, I'm talking like good morning tags, good night tags. Like, he checked a lot of boxes. And he seemed like a really great guy. You know, um, we went on a couple more dates. We hung out a few times. Really great guy. You know, that's until his girlfriend DM'd me on Instagram asking if I met her boyfriend on a dating app. I want to know the saddest part of the story. Well, one of the sad parts of the story. This is actually the fourth time in 2021 that a girlfriend has DM'd me asking either how I met their boyfriend, how I know their boyfriend, or if I matched with their boyfriend on a dating app. Well, that was another in a long series of regrettable life choices. You know, when I really think about it, I would low-key rather die than ever be in another relationship again because... Bro, you, I just feel like you lose everything about yourself when you... Well, maybe I've never been in a healthy relationship. Actually, never mind, guys, because I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. <laughs> like, I really don't. You are such an idiot. So last night, I went on a wee date. It was going real well. Sure, he's taken this chick, hundreds of chicks on the same date, but whatever. Then we go back to his place. I'm sitting there in front of the laptop. We're choosing a movie, right? I'm sitting there like this. He's behind me, arms around me, like doing the laptop thing. I'm right here, okay? Set the scene. Next thing you know, mishap with the hands. His messages pop up. You know what there is? Big, fat, juicy ass. Picture of one. Best part, he responds. Okay, and I'm sitting there like this. And he's behind me. And I'm... I swear it lasted way too long. And the next thing you know, escape, 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 escape. Don't be jealous that I've been chatting online with babes all day. So she thought she met a great guy. The guy of her dreams almost. Then she realised that Chad was bored of his current girlfriend. And wanted to engage in some extracurricular activities on the side. Not surprisingly, it's happened to her on multiple occasions before. Why is this? Well, she keeps going after the high value archetype of guy. So, I've got some valuable advice for her. If the guy is too good to be true, he probably is. She should ask herself, why would this guy be dating a fool like me? She's stumbling over her words and mumbling saying that she would rather die than be in a relationship only coming to realise that she has never been in a healthy relationship before I wonder how long it took her to figure that one out She was literally having an epiphany during the recording of her video Do you think she will learn her lesson? Probably not so she acknowledges that the guy has already taken multiple women to the same place he took her to but she brushed it off and said whatever hoping that she would be the apple of his eye the woman who will finally be able to tie him down into a relationship lo and behold he starts talking to big booty women on his laptop right in front of her face taking ultimate liberties your booty is not big enough honey Real men of genius. 